All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm gonna be presenting you guys my forecast for an upcoming snowstorm for the Rockies in the upper Midwest. We're gonna be talking about a general three to six inches of snow, possibly more for the Rockies. Now, before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, I'd highly recommend that you check out our very exciting Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. All right, now for today's comment of the day, I want to know, what is the latest snowfall you've ever seen in a year? I think I've seen snowfall in April before, but I would like to know when the latest you have ever seen snowfall in your area. Also, be sure to mention your area because that's important for context, obviously. Now, let's get right into this video. And first things first, I want to review a forecast, actually. This was our forecast for the nor'easter that came through New England. Uh, so as you can see, a general three to six inches there for New Hampshire and through Maine, and then, a, you know, dusting to three inches throughout all of those white regions with the pink areas, maybe seeing some flakes. All right, now I'm going to switch it to what actually happened in three, two, one. There we go. Uh, and I think we did quite nicely, actually. I think we got a little more in Vermont than we were anticipating and a little less in the Adirondacks, but I think this went pretty well and I was very excited to see how uh, close we were to what actually happened. But let me know what you think. I love hearing the feedback there, obviously. Now here's the first frame from our system we're going to be talking about today, our clipper system. As you can see, some general snow showers are going to be going on for Montana, Wyoming, Nebraska, and South Dakota this morning, this morning time, uh, pr pretty much from the time I'm making this audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on where the snow is going to start to get much heavier and we're going to start to see it sticking and we're just going to go through the entire run and watch the storm and then we're going to start getting into some snowfall models. All right, now here we are taking a look, and this is pretty much by this evening. I would say probably like 6 p.m. here, uh, and as you can see, a lot of those snow showers kind of recede back west westward, uh, and we start to see more of that heavier snowfall going on for Montana and through Wyoming. That's going to start sticking really fast, and I'm really expecting, you know, 6 to 10 inches of snow being possible for some higher elevation areas. If you're in the lower elevations, I think a general three to six is a very, very safe bet. So if you're in any of those uh, college towns in Montana... Uh, or any of just the valley areas in Montana and Wyoming. I think a general three to six is very possible. And then as we move more towards about 3 a.m., as you can see, it really is a lot of the same. We see that heavier snowfall going on uh, throughout Montana. And look at those snow showers there now for Nebraska, Iowa. You guys could even get see some flakes or a dusting. Obviously, this is 3 a.m., so you probably won't see it, but it will happen. Uh, so I guess that hardly matters, but I wanted to mention that. Uh, South Dakota and North Dakota, it's kind of the same story, some lighter snowfall going on for your regions there. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to move on, and we're going to move on a good chunk, actually. We're going to move towards Tuesday morning at about 3 a.m., where we're really going to start to see this storm get its act together. It's kind of just hovering around the area, uh, but we're really going to watch this one start to move in through the Dakotas and Minnesota, as well as Wisconsin, with some even heavier snowfall. It's going to be quite heavy, actually, to say the least. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, now as you can see, we're starting to see it move eastward here by about 3 a.m. on Tuesday, October 20th. So we've moved a generally a good 24 hours ahead here. And you can see not much has changed. It's actually moved a little bit. That's why Montana and Wyoming is going to see so much because it's kind of just going to sit around uh, and hang out there and really just drop some snowfall for long periods of time. Not really as heavy as it's going to be further eastward, and we'll see that in a second. But as you can see, North Dakota and Montana is seeing some moderate snowfall by this point. Well, the eastern region of Montana, so a little bit of a different region by this point. Uh, and this is the European model we've been using, by the way. I forgot to mention that. You can see the cold air in place for Montana and, and Wisconsin. Uh, those blue lines are indicating generally under 32 degrees, but it can vary. That's not a perfect line, but we will see that it is actually really good in this case because as we move towards... I would say this is probably 11 a.m. on Tuesday, October 20th. We see that heavy snowfall move into North Dakota, South Dakota, portions of South Dakota, that is. And then even in through southern uh, Minnesota, even Minneapolis is actually going to see some snowfall from this event. So it's going to be you guys' first uh, moderate snowstorm, I would say, or at least accumulating snowfall. I'm pretty sure if you're living there and you're, if that's wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but I think it's you guys' generally your first multiple inch accumulating snowfall here. But let me know if I'm wrong again. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to take it to about maybe 2 or 3 p.m. on October 20th, again, Tuesday. And as you can see, that very heavy snowfall, that kind of purplish shade there right over Minneapolis, I'm pretty sure. That is some very heavy snowfall. If this was to occur, uh, you'd probably be seeing about, I would say, probably an inch per hour rate. 
Uh, but the thing is, it's not going to snow for very long. It's moving very quickly by this point. That's why we're only going to end up with about three to six inches of snow because it's only going to snow for about maybe six hours or so. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to move towards about maybe 8 p.m. on Tuesday, October 20th, where we're going to start to see the snowfall move out of the Dakotas, out of Minnesota, for the most part, the southern regions at least. And then we're going to start to see the upper peninsula of Michigan, northern Wisconsin, and northern Minnesota start to see most of the snow. And then we're going to start moving on towards snowfall totals on the models and even our direct weather forecast for the snowfall totals. All right, and again, here we are taking a look at about October 20th at maybe 8 or 9 p.m. here. And as you can see, most of that moderate snowfall is now located over northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and the upper peninsula of Michigan. Even southern Minnesota has maybe switched over to rain by this point, and I know that's kind of disappointing for you people that wanted a lot of snow to stick around, uh, but that's just how this time of year is. The temperatures are very uh, fluctuating by this point because, uh, you know, in the fall time, it's a transition season, and we're seeing a lot of the warm and cold air trying to battle it out, and in this case, the cold won for a little bit, but that warm air is pushing quickly, uh, and then by the time we reach uh, about, I would say the noontime hours of Wednesday, October 21st. This one is really out of here. It just moved straight up into Canada uh, and it's gone. But we can see our next system already for the Rockies. We'll have to talk about that on a future date. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely another system coming through. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the total snowfall forecast. According to that European model we just took a look at, and anywhere in the grays, you're under two inches of snow, uh, which is, if you're in the darker grays, a pretty good amount. Uh, but if we're in the lighter blues, it's pretty at about two to four. In the darker blues, we're about, at about four to six. So anywhere from, if you're in the blues in general, you're at two to six inches of snow. If you're in the purples, which you, as you can see, southern Minnesota, where we saw that heavier band of snowfall come through, wherever that sets up, it could be a different place. Obviously, we're pretty far out, but they're generally going to see a little bit of six inches plus in there, it appears, in those purples. Same story for Montana. We see the purples. That's six to nine inches of snow in the purples. And as you get into the pinks, that's where you're at about 10 to 18 inches of snow. And that's mostly for the higher elevation areas there in Minnesota and Wyoming. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our GFS, our RGEM model, which is an extremely good model, actually my favorite, and even the NAM model. And then we're going to get into my direct weather snowfall forecast for this storm. All right, now here we are first off taking a look at the GFS, and again, the grays is under two inches of snow, the blues is two to six inches of snow, and then those purples is six to even 10 inches of snow, and then the pinks is above 10 inches of snow. All right, now we do still have that purple there for Minnesota and South Dakota. It's a little extended further west on this model, but really not many differences here. Let's take a look at that RGEM model, and the only difference here, again, this is my favorite model. I think this one is the best short range model there is for snowfall that is. Uh, and as you can see, that heavier band of purples there in Minnesota is much further north than the rest of the model. So I'll be curious to see if that does occur that way. That would be a good win for this model because it is standing alone on that call. Really all of these models have a very similar opinion there for the Rockies. You might've noticed it's hardly changed. It's mostly that Eastern edge that is changing a lot from model to model. And then here's our NAM model, which is just all by itself saying we're going to get way more snow for the Dakotas, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Six inches plus, possibly even upwards of 10 to 12 there for portions of southern Minnesota. Do I think this is going to happen? Uh, definitely not because this is the only model calling for that. But there is that slim chance that this one somehow wins out. So we want to prepare for the fact that it could be a lot more than we're anticipating. But for now, it seems like a general... Uh, three to six inches of snow with the potential for some smaller bands of six inches plus is going to be the call for Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the Dakotas. All right, now for our direct weather snowfall forecast for our first layer, here's our dusting the three inch layer. It's very exciting to be presenting these to you guys now. Again, it's been months and months and months since we've had to make snowfall forecasts, and this is one of our first ones this year so far. Very exciting stuff. I love making these. But as you can see, any of these white regions are at about a dusting to three inches of snow generally. It's going to be from the 18th through the 21st. That's when it's all going to be said and done. And then our second layer here is our three to six inch layer. We have two different areas there. So as you can see, the Dakotas through into Minnesota, Wisconsin, and even the upper peninsula of Michigan. And then we can see for Montana and Wyoming with maybe some slivers of Idaho getting in there. We also have three to six inches of snow expected there. Now let's take a look at our six to 10 inch regions. And as you can see, it's pretty exclusive for some of the mountain ranges throughout Montana and Wyoming there. 
Uh, we even have some more layers to add. There is a darker blue layer in there, but I just decided to pretty much skip right over it. But if you happen to be in those little tiny bands of the darker blues, uh, you're at 10 to 15 inches of snow, but really that's mostly very high elevation areas. And we even have those purples in there for the two mountain ranges of uh, Montana and even Wyoming there. That's where we're expecting 15 inches to 20 inches to be possible throughout these uh, little systems of snow that are coming through over the next couple of days. Uh, and, and there is some higher elevation areas in there. There's some mountains that if you happen to be on top of those mountains, it might get a lot more than what I'm showing here, especially if you're in, if you're in those lighter blues, but are at a higher elevation area. I would highly recommend you stay tuned to the National Weather Service and see what they're saying for your local zip code. I would put that in and just see what they're saying as far as snowfall totals. If you live in a very, very high elevation area that's pretty isolated there, uh, I would hi highly recommend you do that. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys yesterday, what do you think is the best analog for this winter? And Zeta Durf, for probably the 20th time I have picked her for our comment of the day, uh, she said, I'm thinking 2017 to 2018, uh, and I do think that that one matches the best out of any of the analogs we went over in yesterday's very cool video. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Diamond patrons, Alicia Davis, Madbirds, Cindy Klein, Dan Hazard, and Mark J., alongside our Platinum Patrons Donna Carnes and Larry LaPan. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.